Hi guys, don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as the bell notification and don't forget to give the video the thumbs up. Okay guys, so I've just come into my garden in order to pick some seasonings um, to season my chicken so that I can make a chicken pilau. Uh, chicken pilau is very similar to what is called a, a pilaf um, but it's like a, a stew chicken with rice and some vegetables and so forth so let's just pick some of the seasonings so that we can season our chicken in order for us to make our chicken pilau or we can say it's like a, a, a one pot chicken and rice all right, so here I have some basil. You know, there are different types of basil. So this is one type of basil here. So let me just pick some of the basil, which I'm gonna use um, to season my chicken. So what I'm gonna do is wash these leaves, and then I will put it in my, um, my food processor, along with some other seasonings. So I will use the basil that you see here. I'm also going to pick some big leaf thyme to add. And um, I would also add what is called shadow benny as well. And I see a, a few bird peppers on the tree. So I will also pick some bird peppers to go in it as well. So this here is called big leaf thyme or Spanish thyme. So I'm just going to pick, um, let's see, maybe four of the leaves. So we're going to, so here we have our big leaf thyme. And now I'm going to add, well, here's the good pepper tree. Um, okay, see, on this side I have some bird peppers here. I'll take one, two, all right, so I have two there. Um, maybe I could add one more. I have to be careful. My, my kids don't really like much spice. So I see a little one here. So I'll take this little one. All right, so here we have our peppers. And now I'm gonna pick some shadow benny in order to, um, to grind up so this here is called shadow benny so let's get some of the shadow benny see that so we'll pick i think i'll pick about um four leaves of shadow benny there you go so here we have our green seasoning that we're going to blend i'll also add some garlic to this um and this is what we're going to use in order to um season up our chicken okay guys so this evening we are going to make some pilau uh, pilau is um, a particular dish that is made with chicken and rice and other vegetables so it's like a one pot so this is all the ingredients that we're going to use in order to make our pilau uh, we have some seasoned chicken here. So I seasoned this overnight and in this I have some shadow benny, some big leaf thyme, some bird pepper, some sive, some garlic and some seasoning pepper. So here I'm using actually chicken wings that I have cut up. Like I said, this was seasoned overnight. Um, of course, I had put some salt in it. I put a little bit of soy sauce as well in the seasoning. Um, here I have some chicken broth that I'm going to use. I have um, some coconut milk here that I'm also going to use. This is a cup and three quarter of coconut milk. Um, I'm going to use two cups of rice which I already washed. I'm going to use one cup of um, frozen peas and carrot. Also use pigeon peas if you desire but I'm just using frozen peas and carrots 
Um, I'm using some butternut squash. Again, you can use pumpkin if you desire. Um, traditionally, you would use what is called golden ray. But I am going to use just some butter, regular butter here. You would need about a tablespoon and a half of sugar because you want to brown your chicken. So you're going to use that to brown the chicken. And I have about two teaspoons of salt here. So this is what I'm going to use in order to make my pilau or my rice and chicken. Now, what I'm probably going to do with this seasoned chicken here, I'm probably going to add about one tablespoon of ketchup to it as well. Um, again, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it, but I think I'll probably just add that as well to it. So this is everything here. Let's head over to the stove and get to putting everything, start cooking everything.
Okay guys, so our um, pillow is completed. Um, of course, if you notice, um, coming down to the end, I was continuously uh, stirring it because at this point, it tends to stick at the bottom, so it can burn. Um, and some did stick at the bottom, but I try not to scrape that off. I just um, sort of try to stir from the, the um, top of that. Um, that does happen with this dish. It tends to burn at the bottom. But anyway, you continue cooking it until it dries down. Um, and um, that's basically it. So it's finished. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And see you in my next video. Bye for now.